So Jason Jones sat down with me th about three years ago. Mm -hmm. There's a huge feature on IGN uh, with him. And he told me what Phoenix was. Yeah. It was a very interesting sort of almost a pre-Minecraft type. Yeah, well, that was one of the versions thing. of it, yeah. Uh, but the gypsum thing, what right. was that? Have you not heard gypsum? Am I revealing I, this for the first time? I, I, have, I, I have heard its name, but I don't think I, it's been, was this with uh, multiple like, different color Spartans in it? Is that this no, thing? No, 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 no. This was, um, so Paul Breton, who ended up being the project lead, co-project lead on ODST right. years later, he was one of the designers. Um, he had actually, he and, and his friend Chris Barrett had done, who was art director on Destiny. He and Chris were fans back in the Myth days, and they did a Myth expansion pack called Chimera for Myth. So we ended up hiring them in uh, to Chicago Bungie, and they came out and they worked, of course, on um, Halo 1. Right. He, Paul didn't want to work on Halo 2. He is. He liked doing fantasy uh, um, kinds of games, third-person fantasy games. So the Phoenix team was basically sort of shut down. The, the prototype for Phoenix just turned out to be too unwieldy and not very much fun. And there was just huge amounts of concept art that was beautiful and, mm -hmm. and art and all sorts of assets that were incredible. I wish I could show you all that stuff. As a matter of fact, Ed Freeze, I remember saying how excited he was for Phoenix. He was said he was more excited for Phoenix than for Halo. Wow. If you talk to him. I'll, I'll talk to Ed. Yeah. We'll, we'll take care of it. Um, <laughs> but F Phoenix just didn't ever come together. It just wasn't going to turn into a game. And so instead of bringing the, that team uh, into the Halo side of production, um, it was like, go ahead, guys, to start, you know, make something else. So Jason and Paul Breton and some of the other guys started working on this gypsum concept, gypsum concept, which was a game very much mythical fantasy. There was a, a mythical creature that you played as in third person, a minotaur, believe mm -hmm. it or not, and you ran around and smashed things with a hammer and magic stuff happened. It was, and it, was, we, it went very, very far. There wow. was a playable prototype that was a blast. So third person, I did music for it, sound effects, everything. Third person action game, uh, was it built off of the Halo engine or was it some other uh, technology that you guys had developed for it? Boy, that's a good question. You should ask Paul Breton that. I think it was some sort of modified okay. Halo engine, but also possibly even remnants of the Phoenix engine. Interesting. There might even be guys here that know. Yeah, and I remember now that the Gypsum engine was Halo 1 engine, yeah. That's just interesting because the only other, the, there was only other one released game that the public, you know, that, that, that was Stubbs the Zombie got made with right, the Halo engine, right, which exactly. was Alex Seropian's game. Right. So it's interesting that there was another Halo, another game, not Halo, made on the Halo engine, just yes. never came out. And it had a, a, a very good playable prototype demo that it was a good, I don't know, I think you could play it for like 20 minutes and do an entire level and accomplish and something, that, it was great. And that was, uh, did, did now Microsoft go, nah, we just want Halo from you guys, or did you guys kill it? Um, so what happened was, and I remember warning Paul Verton about this, I said, you know how you got sucked into doing Halo 1? Because when, he, when he, Paul and Chris came out with us from Chicago during the Halo days, they were working on Phoenix. Right. But Halo then, became this big thing that we had to finish. So everybody got sucked into doing Halo. And Paul was, okay, once Halo is done, I'm never getting sucked back into that Halo thing ever right. again. And uh, so even though Gypsum was a great, Gypsum was a really great prototype and demo and we all loved it, um, Halo 2 just became its own thing. And there were no other teams at Bungie. It just became, we have to do Halo 2. And yeah. everybody who was working there, uh, the former Oni team. Yeah, um, West had shut down at that West point. West had sh shut down, but they were still sort of their own crew inside of Bungie up here in Seattle. Okay. And they were working on, they, at first they were working on a game called Monster Hunter, if you can believe that, <laughs> um, before, before Capcom did it. Before Capcom did it. And that was just conceptual, but I remember doing a, a treatment on it, hmm. uh, working with Michael Evans and Hardy LaBelle on Monster Hunter. Uh, anyway, that team got sucked almost immediately into Halo 1 multiplayer. 
So now we only had the Phoenix team left and they became gypsum and then Halo 2 just became a beast that was ravenous.